so we're having a really great time here. We do this party every year, and we also recognize some of our community volunteers, like Bob Neal, who um, we're gonna we're gonna do a little award for tonight, and Antonio Nardoza, and some other folks who um, are to be recognized for the work that they do as volunteers. We have um, some. Would you get Bob? He's right there. He's right there, sitting right there. Bob. No, right there. Here he is. Here he comes. He's usually behind the camera, but tonight he's going to be in front of the camera. You're usually behind the camera. I know that. I like to hide behind the camera. I look better there. Well, you look great here, and we Thank appreciate you. all of your work. You've been volunteering here for about a year, right? Almost two now. Is that right? Yes. Time is flying. It flies when you're having fun. So tell us a little bit about the work you do for the live show and, and the other projects that you've been working on. Uh, the live show is basically I come in to help set the studio up, operate cameras, turn on lights, dim them when they're too bright, uh, so things like that. Just, you know, they're little things, but it, it sometimes takes, you know, three, four pairs of hands to make a good show. Um, I think the folks that sit out here at the desk do a lot better job. I think content is so incredibly important, especially the way that, you know, the, the city and, the, and then the state is going right now. Uh, you just worked on a little documentary. What was that about? Uh, it's called What Costs Justice. Uh, it's uh, a look at the amount of money uh, spent at the federal, state, and local level on uh, the criminal justice system, the courts, law enforcement, and corrections. Wow. And what did you conclude? Uh, that there's a lot of questions that need to be asked that I certainly didn't have time to ask in a one-hour show. And hopefully once, uh, once the uh, program airs, uh, folks will start calling their city council members and their town select board members and say, why are we spending all this money and what are we getting for it? And especially the reps in, in, in Montpelier. So you have a background in media, don't you, in TV? <laughs> I, I've worked in, in television at one, one facility or another uh, here in Chittenden County almost continuously since 1974. This is like 40 years for me this year. Oh my goodness. And you've seen real changes in the industry, haven't you? Oh my gosh. When I started in television, um, I started at Vermont Public Television. It was Vermont ETV back then, and they still had 16 millimeter film and 35 millimeter slides in the control room and two inch videotape and, uh, and black and white cameras. I was there for their transition to color. And then uh, um, um, 87, I started over at Channel 3. They were just taking film out of the control room then and installing uh, one inch tape. So, and now there's no tape at all anymore. Everything is all digital. Yeah, and high def. And high definition, and what a nice improvement that is. It is, but we're going to need a lot of makeup, really, when that kicks in, right? Oh, I don't think so. No, no I think it can all be managed with lighting. Oh, good. Lighting is such a skill, and there aren't very many folks who, who are really skilled at lighting. And that's, you know, if there's somebody out there who knows how to do lighting or is taking classes in lighting, this would be a great place to practice and share some of that knowledge with us. That's great. Um, yeah because you can, you can paint some wonderful sets with lights. Uh, I've, I've seen it done, but I don't have the skill to do that. I've never taken a course in lighting. Well, I appreciate all that you've done, Bob. We wanted to thank you for your thank years you. of service thank and you. really appreciate the dedication that you bring to the work. Well, thank you for letting me come in here and tromp around and play with all your equipment. Well, it's public <laughs> access. You should be able to do that. Well, everybody can do that if they're interested in it, and that's the cool thing about this place. That's exactly right. Thank you so much. You. Happy New Year. So Antonio was sitting right there. I'm not sure where he is. And there he is. Antonio's right here. <laughs> here we go. I just want to remind folks you can call us if you want at 862-3966. We're celebrating the new year. Antonio, how are you? Good. I'm good. So you started volunteering here at Channel 17, and now you're working with us. Yeah. I'm field producer now, and in a few minutes I'm going to Winooski DRB <laughs> to cover that. Do you like Winooski as a community? You like covering them? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's very good. <laughs> so what do you think about um, the normalizing relations with Cuba? What do you think about that news that came yesterday? Well, I am from Puerto Rico. I don't know if it's going to affect the relationship in the United States and Puerto Rico, also the economy in Puerto Rico. So let's see. But I think it's, it's, it's very good, I mean, that United States and Cuba have a relationship, we'll start an economic relationship again. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah, a long time. My whole, li my whole life. Yeah. 
<laughs> exactly. 53 years it's been, I think, and I'm 54, so I'm very excited about that. <laughs> yeah. That's great news. Yeah. So tell us um, what you like best about working here and volunteering at Channel 17. Well, I, I like um, the people here and what, what we do here. Um, one thing I really like is um, know what happened in the communities in Burlington, Winooski, also Williston. I like what happened there, the issues, and, and know more about the people here in Vermont. I really like that. Well, I'm so appreciative that you've come and worked with us. We're very blessed to have you. We have a little recognition for you. Oh, thank you. Yes, I just need to find it. Here we go. And thank you. You're a 2014 champion of free speech. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> have fun in Winooski tonight. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Ciao. So thanks, everyone. We're so glad you're watching here the um, Channel 17 party. I think we've got a little shot so you can see what's going on. Um, Kathleen Swanson is here with me, and I'm going to have her come on the set. Kathleen's our development director here at CCTV. Welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's really great seeing all our supporters here for CCTV and Channel 17. We have a great crew. I thank everybody who supports us and gives us our love. And um, and if you want to give a gift to CCTV, you could do it online at cctv.org or send us a check. That would be fantastic. We, I think, are over $4,000 right now. Great. So um, that would be fantastic to continue the work that we do, and um, especially with BT and the Common Good Vermont Project. We've had a great year. We have. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Kathleen. So Aiden actually is behind the camera. Uh -oh. Um, and I have an, a little award for you. So here we go. I have an award for you, and you just, um, you, it's okay, you come out here for a second. We'll stand in front of the camera. I won't move. I won't move. I'll stay right in the frame. And Aiden has been with us for a few years now. How many years have you been volunteering with us, Aiden? I think five now. Five, is that right? Yeah. So you were much smaller at the time. Now you're like a big man. <laughs> I started working here when I was 11. You were 11? So, yeah. Well, we have, a, we have a recognition for you to thank you. Um, come stand. Oh, we're good. Kathleen's doing a good job there. Um, tell me about what, why you've been here for five years and why this is a beneficial place for you to come. Um, I've always been interested in just film and television industry, and I walked in one day and just wanted to, wanted to do some work with it. And, uh, Matt, you've been working a lot with Megan. Yeah. And definitely. helping with the summer camps. Yeah. The next generation, getting the next generation. Yeah, maybe. Well, it's been just awesome to have you here. We just love when you and Avery come in on Wednesdays. And just It's like a breath of fresh air just walking right in here. So thank you so much. Thanks. Have a good holiday. All right, get back to work. Okay. We'll let Aiden get back to behind the camera. Um, but it's just a blessing for us to have him with us. It's, it's, um, it's been a great, great opportunity for all of us, all the people that come in and volunteer, as much as they get out of the experience we all we all benefit really deeply. So we've had um, quite a big year here for 2014. We've done a number of different projects. One of them is the Civic Cloud Project, which is a public um, computer internet space that we've built so that we can post all of our video on it here at CCTV and Channel 17, but also um, community content. So other folks can um, put their archives and start to use this cloud for higher purposes. So we've been really excited about that Civic Cloud project. We think it's a major step forward in public access in the digital age. We have Donna Jacobs with us. Donna is one of our wonderful talents. Hi, Hi how are you? I'm really good. I'm great. So you are a very special volunteer because you have helped behind the camera and in front of the camera. Yeah, I started out as a camera operator by accident. I walked into this building not even, you know, actually wanting to be in this position and then technical director and then host. So it all and I'm now almost three years later. <laughs> it's been wonderful to have you. What's been the benefits for you for to be here, Donna? Um, I'm meeting a lot of people out in the community, um, broadening my horizons on what I have learned through people in the community. And um, I think just the skills that I've learned, the technical skills, big, big plus. And um, just learning, you know, having a lot of support and friendship in this right here. Yeah, it's been just wonderful. And we wanted to give you a little recognition, um, a little 2014 champion, actually 2015 champion. 
all years. We know you're going to keep working with us. So we got yes. we got all the years on there. So okay. thank you so much. Thanks. And we hope you have a really good holiday. You guys too. Thank bye. You, Donna. Bye bye. Now, you know, a program here at Channel 17 would not be complete without my friend and co-founder, Richard Kemp. Richard, good evening. Good evening. It's nice to see you. And how long have you been doing this kind of stuff? I think about 31 years. Oh, 31 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a long and it's, time. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure to come here and see all these folks that are doing what you can't do in the commercial world. That's right. Increasingly difficult to do in the commercial world, yeah. isn't it? When you can say anything you want to say. That's and, right. And have your own program if you want to. So what have been the more interesting programs you've produced this year? There have been many. Anything stand out? Uh, no, I forgot. But <laughs> they're, uh, they're all kind of interesting. And it's always kind of interesting, uh, you know, the whole interview process with, with people and stuff. And I will continue to do it and find some interesting people. So that when you ask me that question again, I'll have an answer. <laughs> well, last week you in, you interviewed um, Steve Goodkind, who's running for mayor. Yes, that's right. Yeah, the day after he was endorsed. And that was, that was pretty special. And those are the kinds of things that I think that make it worthwhile being involved with uh, public access is the fact that, again, you can say what you want, you can bring on who you want, and you can also provide DVDs from places far and wide and put it on. Or near and far. And near and far. <laughs> <laughs> the name of your show. And I'm so glad that you're doing this. 31 years, keep it up. Thank you. Richard Kemp. Richard is a longtime volunteer. He produces Near and Far, and that program runs... Um, very frequently does a show, at least uh, one show a month here, and they're always really interesting and provocative guests, which is one of the great things about public access television is that you've got guests that really shake things up and speak about subjects that you don't normally hear about on mainstream television, and that's, I think, a very important value of public access television. So, you know, um, Kathleen, if you wanted to round up maybe Dan Higgins or any other um, luminary that we have, we'd love to We'd love to talk to the, some of the folks who are the founders of CCTV who are still around and um, still kicking and still producing really interesting, really interesting projects. In fact, Dan um, just did a really interesting photo series in Winooski. We have uh, a, a little community listserv called Front Porch Forum, and Winooski has one, and Dan did a photo exhibit of the um, different folks that posted on Front Porch Forum, and it was a great show. He's a little reluctant to come, but we'll get him on here eventually. So come on, Dan. I want you to. Hi. Hi. Nice happy, to see you. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Happy uh, solstice. Wonderful. Solstice. We got solstice coming right along. Sunday. Yeah. The light is coming back. It's always um, a good time. We are ready for it. It's one of the best days of the year. I think so too. So um, I was just telling the folks about your photo show that you did on the front porch forum posts. And I wanted to hear, maybe you could just talk a little bit about what prompted you to put together these photographs and, and a little bit about the show. Sure. Uh, Front Porch Forum, the world is becoming more and more uh, virtual in that people get their information and they learn about people more and more from the computer, from the internet. Front Porch Forum is like that. And Front Porch Forum, I think the way Michael designed it was supposed to be small neighborhoods. But in Winooski, we fought for having the whole town be on the same forum. So as a result, I don't know how many people there are, but it's the whole town. And a lot of people, big percentage of the town read Front Porch Forum. And so you have all these postings and you get to know people by name only. And I wanted to put a visual component to these stories, these people. Uh, and I did. And it was uh, fascinating for me to kind of start with a, as a photographer, I sometimes start with a picture and then look for a story. These were starting with stories. People post things like, we had a tree in our yard for the last 150 years, but it's dead and they're cutting it down. Does anybody want to come for sculpture? Or, uh, of course, there's a million lost cat stories. I tried to avoid some of those. Uh, the Winooski Roundabout, a lot of comments on that. And so the idea was to start with these, these very interesting kind of local comments, find people, ask if they would collaborate on the making of a, of a portrait that involved whatever they wanted to say about themselves and would somehow relate to their story. And you put, then you put the show up and then people came and looked that at that, right? Part. Yeah, everyone said, is this going up on the internet? No, it's not going on the internet. It's, uh, we had uh, 
The Block Gallery, which is right in the center of Winooski, beautiful big space, uh, big walls, good lighting, and Lorelei Harris uh, allowed me to put my show in there. So we had 28, I think we ended up with 30 large uh, framed pictures that had the photographs and the and the writings. And I don't think I'm people poured in there the whole five weeks it was up. And uh, what was fascinating was people knew names like. Uh, Terry Zygmunt, for example, she's a, a local artist. She signs her name T-E-R-R-Y, and she puts a posting up almost every day, a thought for the day. So everyone knows the name Terry Zygmunt. The number of people that came in that saw her picture and thought, oh, I thought Terry was a man. You know, so, <laughs> so, you're, so it was sort of a breaking your, you know, your internet anonymity and giving it a, a physical space of someone who actually lives in your neighborhood. That's great. It that's was, that's the two to three dimensional part of the work. Absolutely, and it was a lot of fun meeting people, and the stories are just zany. And and you know, they're you could say these stories are so trivial, but they're so interesting. You know, they're not the big. Well, there's always the F-35s and some of the big political stuff, but the little stories. You know, we have a tree we we love, and it died. You know, I mean, let's give it give those stories some images. And people, those are what is important, and that's what Nick's communities together. That's what it's. It it is a. I suspect that the stories combined um, gave a really unique sense of what Winooski is about too, because it is a little different than say the North End or. The, yeah. So another way to try to make sense of what this funny little mile square community is that we all love. We do. I do too. Thank you, Dan. Uh, congratulations on. Thanks. We had a big party. year. We had a big year, and we had some great people here, and we just could not make this happen without all these oh, wonderful no. people. I know. It's been how many years now? I hate to say 1984. This is. My mother's on the phone. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do it on air. Okay, we're going to do it on air. Give here her we my go. Best. I will. Thanks, Dan. All right, let's. Here we go. Here we go. The speaker. Hold on. How am I going to do that? Speaker. Hello. Hi, mom. Uh, hi, mom. <laughs> I'm, hi, mom. How are you? Hi, this is your mom. It's my mother. How exciting. How are you? Are you in Florida? How's the weather? Uh, it's about 75 and gorgeous. Oh, lucky. I will. I'll be down soon. I'll be down to see you. We're so glad you could join the party. I have something to say. Okay. We'd love to hear it. Okay. I'm calling to say I am so happy to know. <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you. I can see you talking. I can hear you. Okay. I'm so happy to know that everything is well and that everybody has good intentions for our wonderful CCTV. And therefore, I want to be sending you a Christmas gift in everybody's name. Nice. All the volunteers and all the staff and all the boards, I'm going to send you all a Christmas gift. Thank you. Because I know that it's going to be well spent. Yes, very carefully. Now, I want to say a special happy holidays, everybody, but a special special to Dan and Jane. Okay. And Kathleen. Yes. And Richard. Okay, I will definitely... My oldest, my oldest friends on CCTV. And thank you for all your dedication. Thank and you. And I love you especially. Thank you. I love you Have especially. Have a great, great holiday. Thanks, Mom. I love you. Bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye. See, I could not have done anything without the love of my mother. Future media makers are good. And then if you find Nat, you can round him up. Okay. You can accept on his behalf. Future media makers... Aiden, come on, come talk to me. Forget the camera. Just talk to me. How are you? You don't have to worry about the cameras. You're talking to me. So, you know, you spend some time here in our office because your dad it makes everything happen. He's like the tech IT go to man. And thank goodness for him because then you get to come and hang out here. What's your favorite thing to do here? Uh, I don't know. Is it the little candies? No, it's sit in his office and watch movies. Oh, watching movies. Well, of course, because, you know, you can do that here. We let you watch non-public access TV movies. We and love that. Drawing and, and pictures. Drawing. You do some great work on the drawing. 
I'm so glad you get to come in, and you know you're welcome anytime, okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, up, oh, Jane Nodell. Hey. How are you? Okay. You're, you're a little gel. I left, I left my antlers. I know, we've got, I could get you some more if you want. I love those. I know, well, I'll get you some. Okay. <laughs> so we're with Jane Nodell. Jane is a member of our board. She's also a member of the City Council of Burlington, and she has many other important roles in the community, including teacher that doesn't have to teach because the semester's over. Well, actually, today I finished everything up. I decided, okay, I gave my final exams, okay, but then some of them might want to actually know what the answers were. Yeah. And so I did answer sheets for my final exams today. Well, that was very nice Wasn't of you. Good? Yeah. And then I had a note and said, for those of you obsessive enough with macro theory to actually look at this while you're on vacation, <laughs> here's the answers. Some of them will. That's good. Some of them will. Yeah, yeah. You had a good class this year. I had fun time. I had a really fun time. Well, because now you get to teach about financial crisis and Great Recession and why the government, you need the government to participate in the economy. So what about um, normalizing relations with Cuba? I was excited, but then my first question was, does that mean we could just go anytime we want? And the answer was, I think not really. Not yet. Not yet, but not we're yet. moving there. Yeah. I think it's great. I think Obama's like, if you guys aren't going to participate, you know, cooperate with me, then I'm just going to do stuff. Right. Right. I've got two years to do good things, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, I'm really excited because we went, we went to Cuba, and we had a really, it was an interesting place, wasn't it? It was fascinating. It was 1992. Special period. Special period. They were just breaking, well, the Soviet Union had kind of cut them loose, and so they were having to make a go of it on their own. And they had had some crop failures, so they really didn't have very much. No, they were eating very basic foodstuffs and wearing old clothes. and But they still, you know, they prioritized education and health. Those are their priorities. So the literacy rate is really high and everyone was in pretty good shape. Yeah, the people were in much better shape in the buildings. Yeah, exactly. You know? The buildings were kind of decrepit. It's kind of like, like we said, you know, in much of the United States, it's kind of the opposite. Yeah. Buildings are great. Beautiful buildings. It's like Burlington Town Center. Yeah. We can create these beautiful glittery spaces while, you know, people are, you know, not making it outside, in much, in much outside of those spaces. Yeah. Well, I, I really found, I was saying, actually, my mother just called, but she was all excited, and I said, it's not an easy trip. Like, going to Cuba is not like going to Puerto Rico or the Bahamas. Yes. Because it's... It's hard, hard. Right. It's harder work. Yeah. It's harder work. But I was, I thought it was really cool that Senator Leahy went down, got up at two o'clock in the morning, was there. Did you read about that? I knew he went. I didn't and they know. went to get him, like you know, uh, right? They they put the plane down and they get out of the plane and they walk up to the guy. Was it Gross? Is his last name? Yeah. And they say we're going now, like we're, we're getting on the plane now, like before someone changes their mind. Right. right so that right. is. Some, they, that's some high drama there. Well, and they didn't take off until the Cuban people were landed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a lot of high. It sounded like the whole yeah. negotiation and everything was very yeah. intense. It was kind of a breakthrough. So it's kind of like maybe some good things can happen in the rest of the world too. Yeah. This we're hoping for in 2015, right? Exactly. Hope is what we're going keep, for. Keep hope alive. Exactly. Well, I want to thank you for all your support of CCTV. I'm a big fan, as you know, and without CCTV, Burlington's democracy would be nowhere as vibrant as it is. And so we need to keep it going. We will. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, LG. Thank you, Jane. Bye. Bye. Jane Nodell, great supporter here at CCTV. So we're having a wonderful party. I just want to let everybody know that um, you are welcome here at Channel 17 anytime. We are one of your community access centers and we are part of a network of 26 centers across the state and hundreds across the country. And here is Greg Epplerwood in our last three minutes to talk about. Hi, how's Hi. Your, hair? your hair is great. <laughs> it's great. Tell us about the vibrant network of public access in Vermont. Oh my gosh, you ask the easy questions, don't you? Yeah, you got, you got a minute. Okay, uh, well, uh, let's see. We, um, who am I speaking to, the general public? We are, the, your people. Uh, okay, well, um, Vermont has 25 official paid salaried public educational governmental access centers just like you're watching right now here at Channel 17 around the state and um, there are a lot of exciting things happening and I actually want to do a little footnote here and ask you to help us understand here in Burlington 
what's happening with the low power FM uh, project. Uh, in cooperation with RETN and VCAM. VCAM, yeah, yeah. VCAM really was the lead, and they got a permission for WBTV to go on the air. So that was at Thanksgiving where the FCC gave them approval. 99.3 FM. Okay. And it's going to take about, what, two years to get it up and running, Probably, something like that? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah but it's a good development project, but it's a good alternative form of community media. Yeah, and it's going to be... Uh, a non, uh, it's going to be non-competitive with uh, existing radiator and WRUV uh, because it's going to draw on a lot of the same kind of public access programming and community local programming that uh, is already done on 17, 15, 16, and 17, right? Yeah. And I can't wait to have a radio show on it. I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah. And all these people have a great, great faces for radio, can have their own program, exactly. afraid to be in front of a camera. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be very good. Yeah, well, that, and I was mentioning the Civic Cloud Project, which we worked on this year, which is really an alternative internet um, sandbox, if you will, for people to create new applications for the gigabit pipe that we have that Burlington Telecom offers. And then, of course, we have the Keep BT Local campaign, That's right. which is really important that we hold on to our network as closely as possible as a public we have asset. About three years to get that all settled, too. Hopefully, yeah. maybe before three years, it might get all settled. Yeah. yeah. And uh, at $10.6 million, it's a, it's a bargain. It, it, it's not $33.4 million anymore that we owe to uh, Citibank. That's right. It's only 10.6. So we could find that, can't we? I think it will be. I think it's possible to preserve that asset. And then the other news is that we at v, uh, Channel 15, VCAM, RETN, and Channel 17 are talking about how we might move together in a deep collaboration, possibly a merger. So that's other work that we're doing because you know we have a common horizon that we need to plan for, sure. be more efficient. Sure. sure. So we've got a lot to look forward to. Absolutely, high definition, streaming on the internet. Democracy for all. And absolutely, democracy for all, and free speech. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, everyone, for watching here um, at CCTV's holiday party. We'll just kind of cut to the party as we close so you can see what's happening. Um, everyone's mingling, everyone's talking, everyone's sharing ideas, which is really what we hope for. We really um, depend on people to come and be part of this exciting network of free speech and democracy because without free expression we have no free government so thank you so much for watching and thanks for joining us and have a great 2015 and feel free to come here and use our resources or any of the resources available across the state at your community media centers happy new year <laughs>